Miigwe Odawa families, it's De Odzisto Guate welcoming you to Odawa Indigenous Early On Cooking Show. Today I'm going to be doing a very special recipe from HelloFresh. It is the cheese tortellini with multicolored tomatoes and roasted almonds. Who's excited? I am. This recipe is going to be for four people. And if you're interested in HelloFresh, let me know personally because I have free boxes to give out. Anyways, on to the beautiful ingredients that are going to be included into this recipe. For this recipe, you'll need two lemons, two shallots, seven cloves of garlic, one medium bag of baby spinach, or 113 grams, one half of a cup of almonds, sliced almonds, one half of a cup of basil pesto, one half of a cup of Parmesan cheese, two small containers of uh, heirloom tomatoes, or 227 grams, and one medium container of tortellini, approximately five cups. The tools that you will need is a cutting board, wooden spoon, a serving spoon, scissors, a sharp chef's knife, a large pot, one skillet or frying pan, a measuring cup, and of course, your salt and pepper and vegetable or olive oil. The first step that you're gonna do is measure out 10 cups of water into your large pot. Get your measuring cup. We're gonna count in twos now. Are you ready? Two cups. Four cups, six cups, eight cups. So I filled my two cup measuring cup for, <laughs> so I measured my two cup measuring cup four times to get 10 cups of water. Now what you're going to do is grab your lid for your pot and a little bit of salt. You're going to pour the salt in, put your lid on, and turn your stove to high heat. All right, who's ready for some cutting? Chop it, chop it, chop it, chop. <laughs> okay, here we go. So now we are going to peel and mince the shallot. Mincing means chopping the shallot into teeny tiny little pieces. The smaller, the better. <laughs> I think that's my favorite saying. The more, the better. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have heard it over every single episode that I've done so far. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting the shallot in half, just like I would do my onion. It helps me take all of the peels off in a more easier fashion. All right, there we go. And this also gives time for the water to boil. So hopefully by the time I'm done chopping, my water will be boiled. Onto, ooh, 
onto my second shell egg. And if you guys like humming while you're cooking like I do, feel free to hum along. Whatever tune you like to hum is good with me. And you know what? Ah! <laughs> Always have an anti-gravity mat because your back will thank you. Oh, and your feet too. <laughs> All right, choppy choppy time. So it's really important that uh, moms and dads and guardians or grandmas and grandpas do this step because these knives are very sharp and we do not want children to have any kitchen accidents, especially with sharp knives. But they can help you put the onions inside of your roasting pan at a later time. So chopping this will probably take me about two minutes, so I'll be back. When you are done mincing your shallots, it should look something like this or even smaller. I'm going to open up your small containers of tomatoes. All you simply have to do is take your knife and slice each tomato in half. Now on to the slicing. Dump your tomatoes out. And simply cut down the middle of your tomato and put it on a plate or Leave it on your chopping board. My dog sees another dog outside walking, so <laughs> hence the barking. Jules! Shh! No barking. If you're wondering, yes, I did make up that song. <laughs> I have no clue what it's from. Okay. So, get your tortellini box and you're going to dump it into your boiling pot of water. You can use your handy scissors to open up your package. Turn your stove back on to high. All right. Um, take your wooden spoon and give it a little stir. Let it boil for two to three minutes and I would turn it down to medium high. Put your spoon over the pot so that way it does not overflow. While that is cooking, oh, actually now is a good time to, to put on a timer for three minutes. I forgot to mention a tool. Get out your cheese grater and we are going to zest our lemons. See these tiny little ridges? Actually, I like using this side, the small openings for uh, Parmesan cheese to, um, to zest my lemons. I'm not a fan of using this tiny little prickly part. I find it just gets stuck. And this side is way too large, and that's just for cheese. <laughs> So, I'm going to use this side to um, zest my lemons. 
simply take your lemon and go up and down, or actually just down on your zester. All right, so your lemon should look something like this when it's done. Now the second lemon. There's your three minutes. I'm just gonna let them sit for a bit just to finish this lemon. Oh, another tool I forgot. Colander! <laughs> oh well. Put your colander in the sink. Give your noodles a little stir. Turn your stove off and your timer off. And now we're going to pour this into the colander. <laughs> I'm not quite finished zesting my lemon yet, so I'm just going to give it a few more um, grating. I don't know how to call that. Grates, I guess. <laughs> I'm sure chefs would know because I'm not really a chef. I'm just learning as I'm going. taking all the zest from the inside of uh, my little zesting tool. And this is the result of your lemon zest. It should look something like this. Grab your pair of scissors and grab a half a cup of uh, shredded almonds. Looks like this. Open your almonds and simply add them onto your frying pan. Do not add any oil at this time. Turn your stove back on to medium-high heat. And let them roast until you can smell them. The aroma will smell very nutty, if not a little sweet. The next step is to mince or grate your garlic. What I'm gonna do is mince my garlic because I find that a lot easier and I don't have to watch out for my little fingers on the grater. I'm sure you've seen this before. Simply smash your garlic to take the peel off. Okay. And now it's choppy choppy time for the garlic. Actually, I'm just gonna check on. Mm. All right, my almonds look super roasted, so they're like a golden brown. to my cutting board ever so delicately of course <laughs> okay turn off my stove and continue chopping actually continue mincing because we want these garlic really finely chopped and minced 
When you are done mincing your garlic, it should look something like this or even smaller. You're now gonna turn on your stove on high. When your pan is hot, you're gonna add some oil to it. Approximately two tablespoons. Then you're simply gonna add your finely chopped shallots into your hot pan. Then you're gonna wait two to three minutes until they are soft. Once your onions are soft, simply add your tomatoes to the pan. And also add your garlic as well. Give it a stir and let it cook for two to three minutes. Get your trusty scissors out. And if you have a bag of pesto like this, I highly suggest cutting a small corner off as it will be easier to squeeze out. This is a half of a cup of basil pesto. You're gonna add it into your pot like so. This is the fun part. This is the part where kids will have a lot of fun in helping you. <laughs> squeeze the bag, squeeze the bag. <laughs> Slightly meditative, it's kind of fun. <laughs> together oh and add a half of a cup of water as well you're now gonna let your sauce cook for the next two to three minutes we're now gonna season with salt and pepper I went around two times. And I went around one time with salt. Now what you're gonna do is take your sauce and add it to the tortellini in your large pan. good bits of food in there. Make it taste so savory. Perfect. You're gonna give it a little stir. You're now going to add your full bag of spinach. As well as the lemon zest. Uh, half of your Parmesan. So what you're gonna do is put your Parmesan down on a flat surface. Make a little line with your finger and hold the line down and simply empty into your pot. As well, you're going to grab approximately two tablespoons of butter and add it into your pot on a medium high heat. You're going to wait approximately two minutes for the spinach to wilt and for your butter to melt as well. Then stir it together. To speed up the process of your spinach wilting, simply add the top of your lid on to your pot 
and turn off your heat. Wait two minutes and give it a little stir. Once everything is wilted, it should look something like this. Okay, now get your sharp chef's knife and simply cut your lemon into small wedges. Just like so. Perfect. Now we get to grab our serving spoon and serve it onto our plates. Remember this recipe is for four people. So I'm gonna use two large spoons for one plate. Grab a little bit of almonds, put it on top. And also grab my Parmesan cheese and sprinkle it on top. Voila! And that is supper for tonight. Thank you for joining Odawa Indigenous Early on Cooking Show. Anna!